This class is embedded with the most cutting-edge technology the visual world has ever seen. I have created a VR digital heritage site of an ancient Japanese temple for my students to walk around. They can experience what it feels like actually to exist within the environment. They are also able to move freely, completely unbonded by the physical restrictions of the outside world. I believe that innovation happens when people are having the most fun. In the VR games I have created for my students, they can access a whole body, fully immersive VR experience, which is full of surprises at every turn. The students also get a chance to experience, deconstruct, and reverse engineer architecture in a completely different way using augmented reality. I believe that the study of art history or architecture history should not entail simply reading and looking at artwork. It should involve creative, interactive, and mind-blowing learning experiences. Augmented reality is changing education. Classroom-based lectures are still the largest component of this course. But even in a classroom-based lecture, I use a lot of drone footage that I took on site at some of China's most famous archaeological locations, such as the First Emperor's Tomb. has really helped my students to understand the spatial diagramming and the archaeological context of the discovery. While teaching traditional Chinese painting, I have even converted a 2D 18th century Chinese landscape painting into a 3D environment to enable students better understand the Chinese landscape's unique perspective that is very different from the Renaissance linear perspective. Not only learn about what was created in history, but also have a chance to gain hands-on experience of creating Chinese calligraphy on traditional Chinese paper. The calligraphy session was among my students' favorite part of this class. They get a chance to create a unique Chinese name for themselves and practice them in a studio session. And when they are creating paintings, they can sign their name on them too. So this student here is painting shrimps using a traditional Chinese ink and brush in monochrome. And she signs very beautifully her name that I created for her, Zhou Yingxun, meaning victory and aroma. Most excitingly, they are not only painting in a traditional way, but in a most advanced way, such as painting in 3D space using virtual reality. And they not only experience the virtual reality world I create for them, or some games that are popular on the market, but they are creating their own VR content. They're painting from a completely new perspective. Some artists daydream about this, but their dreams never came true. Now, the room is a student's canvas. The palette is their imagination. The possibilities are endless. After I showed my students how to paint a bamboo, in the traditional Chinese way in class. One of my students very creatively used VR 
to create a 3D bamboo grove using the traditional Chinese method that he had learned in 2D using ink and brush. You can see here how the tradition and the modern technology is combined in artistic creation. The most unique thing about this class is that it allows the students to experience painting as they have never done before. I try to bring the best of Asian art and the most advanced technology of today's visual world to this class. This course brings engaged learning to an unprecedented level. My Asian art class broadens the student's perception of what is visual, what can be defined as art, and more importantly, what is the future of art and technology? I am Bing Huang and this is my Asian art class.